Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, y'all. Episode 21. Woohoo! Uh, I'd like to welcome y'all to my new backdrop. Take a look, it arrived. The new backdrop is here. You like it? It's the exact same. Didn't change it. The camera is a little bit zoomed out some more. But that's it. Other than that, that is it. Uh, the new backdrop did arrive. It was just the green screen, like I think I mentioned. Um, but when I put it up, you could. The fabric was so fucking thin, you could pretty well see right through it. And so it didn't work very well. It was shit. It was garbage. Plus, I have poor lighting. Uh, okay. Episode 21. What are we going to do about it? Jeez, it feels like forever since I've done one of these. It's been about uh, a few days. More than that. Probably, probably about a week or so. Yeah, I got a card. I've decided with the cards now, they're just going to be a nice little reference point. I don't have to exactly say everything in the exact order. If I run into things to say, I'll use the card. If I don't, then that's good. That's what I'm going for. Um, so, first thing I want to talk about are aliens and, and ghosts. <laughs> I've been watching uh, some shows lately that involve ghosts. I'm not saying I believe in ghosts. Do you hear the squeaky chair? But, um... I always forget the point I'm trying to make. But the... the, the when, when you encounter... When people see alien encounters... Or they have ghost encounters... What if that was just people time-traveling... And we're, that's just how we view them. Because the, cause you know how people say time travel is impossible, and even if it was, we would have seen people that traveled back in time. We would have seen them. But maybe the time travelers knew this, so they, they had to find a way to, to cloak themselves when they time travel, so that nobody sees them. But sometimes they kind of, they kind of slip up, and when they slip up in their cloaking, that's when we see them. Uh, so, I'll, I'll give you an example. Like a uh, a guy time travels, and he's got this invisibility. Whatever he can be invisible because he's from the future. So he goes back in time, and and he's invisible, and he knocks some shit off the wall in someone's house. Or whatever, people would consider that a a haunt a haunted house. They would be like, "Oh shit, there's ghosts!" But it was just someone from the future who accidentally bumped into a book and knocked it down. Or when you when there's alien sightings, like a crashed UFO, or or like a Walt Roswell, for example. What if that was just someone from the future had uh, an invisible ship or whatever? And crashed. And uh, then the invisibility went away. And they had to cover it up real quick. <laughs> I'm not... I don't know. It was just an idea that popped into my head. And I always, I always forget to start a timer. So I have no idea how long I've been going for. But I looked at the clock now. So I'll just keep an eye on it from there on. Uh, I don't really, uh, I'm not really a big believer in ghosts or, well, I'd, I would like to believe in aliens. I've never had, I've never had an alien encounter. You know, it would, uh, it would be cool to. I definitely would. I definitely want to have an alien encounter. 
if that or or if it but like i was saying like what if aliens are just us from the future traveling back in time that's what we're gonna look like eventually we're gonna have we're gonna evolve into these penisless creatures because we don't need our sexual organs anymore we found a different way to reproduce um so we're like smooth and small got big heads don't need hair anymore so that's all gone hairless big eyed creatures that's us from the future and every once in a while when you see us it's the time traveler cause even back in the day they had paintings of um aliens I can't remember whose painting it was but there's a painting of an alien or at least it looks like an alien up in the sky there's like a, a guy on a cliff uh, yeah that's my thought of the day that's what aliens really are people from the future that's what we're gonna look like it's it's solved no more looking around now we just gotta figure out why we had, why we go to sleep and uh how to control dreams or how to record record dreams I should say S H A get Jibuti on Yeah <laughs> You see have you seen that company that makes chocolate molds of your asshole? You can uh if you have anal sex, it equals chocolate. Sometimes, sometimes a little bit of chocolate comes out during anal sex. I could, f I, I could, I gotta get some more CDs. And fill it up. Now that I zoomed out a little bit, and you can see some of the more words, some of the more. Some of the more of the more of the more slavish from you, I hope to ask for Mr. Bamboo. Oh, ah. Have you ever noticed that from, like, let's say you're, okay, okay, let me put, <laughs> in school, you know, you're in school from age 5 to 18. Okay. Boop boop. That's a uh, that's not too long. It feels like a while while you're in it, but then it you goes by quick. But if a a 12-year-old is hanging out with a 18-year-old or a 17-year-old or even a 16-year-old, that is like that is like some no-no shit. You don't you don't want to see that. Or you don't expect to see that. But if a... Uh, if a... 25-year-old is hanging out with a 35-year-old... That's nothing. That's normal. And I'm not trying to condone... You know, adults hanging out with children or whatever. But um, it's just a strange way of thinking. But Vsauce covered that, that, uh, that topic... Uh, because everyone thinks that their or feels like their childhood uh, lasted forever or was longer there was a lot more memories and whatnot. and then as you get older it feels like life is just zooming by yeah uh, Jeez, I am so good at podcasting. So good. 21 episodes in. Remember that. We got to keep struggling through. <laughs> I just got to keep doing it. I just got to keep making podcasts. No matter what. Just, just, I ran into shit on the card, so I got to keep talking. Yeah, I, I, I literally scanned through it all. I talked about anal sex. I talked about age. 
talk about the new backdrop, talked about the cards, talked about the aliens and ghosts that are time travelers. What else is there to talk about? And Fruit Loops. I saw a Bill Burr. Bill Burr did his first video podcast recently on Comedy Central or something. I can't remember what it was for, but he was pretty pissed off. He did not want to do it, and he kept saying that, but some something in a contract made him, he had to do it for like, uh, I don't know how long, he has to do it for a while, at least once a month or something, I can't remember what he said, or maybe he only has to do that one, I don't know, but he didn't enjoy it, he likes doing his podcast with just the audio on his YouTube page I've listened to one I think I listened to a little bit I like Bill Burr but I prefer a podcast where you can view even though the person's just sitting there talking into a microphone I don't know why but I just prefer the visual aspect of it because sometimes you know they do have shit on the screen that you can watch, like they'll show clips, which I'm going to integrate something into here someday, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to have something, just haven't figured it out yet, so far it's just been me to sock and talking into a sock, into a sock puppet, you know what, if you got an idea, put it in the comments, even though there's nobody watching right now, which is awesome. These podcasts are for myself. God damn it, I can hear the neighbors. These podcasts are not for myself, they're for the whole world! Whoever wants to see, even ISIS. But, uh, nobody has viewed any of them yet. Bum 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 Why did I say Fruit Loops earlier? Well, my background on my desktop changes every 30 minutes and right now it the backdrop is um Fruit Loops crushed on uh, on the ground fruit loops fruit loops fruit loops fruit loops fruit loops you know what i'm going to start doing with my days <laughs> i'm going to figure out what else i'm going to put into this podcast some sort of, uh, I don't know, a few other segments to keep it going. Because I'm out of topics already and it's only been who knows how long. Because I can't remember what time it was the last time I looked. Remember I looked at the clock and I said I would remember what time it was. Don't remember. Ah! But I really wish, I kind of wish I had a new backdrop, but I'm, I kind of don't wish I had a new backdrop, because I was getting used to this one, and I kind of like it. You know, it's got a little bit of a cliche to it, but then it's got a little bit of a more cliche with the rap shit. So it's just a big cheese ball. Oh, listen to this, listen to this. That's me scratching my balls. <laughs> ah you listen to me scratch my balls. Tell that to your nephew. I can see the sunset. It's 920. That's, a, that's one of the good things about summertime. The sun sets really late at night. By the time winter rolls around, the sun is setting at like five o'clock 
And there's like a few couple nights where it's like damn near four o'clock when it's setting. And the days it just feel like it's like whoop a teach scoop boop the that the day's gone. It just zippity zoom bong bing bong bang bong goes by. I have to shut my air conditioning off to do these podcasts. That's why I'm doing it late at night. Even though it's not night yet, it's still, uh, the sun hasn't even set yet. It's setting. The longest day of the year has already passed. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it hasn't. I thought it did, though. Now my backdrop is a panda. Actually, there's a couple of pandas. And they're they're puking out rainbows. You would just love to see these, wouldn't you? <laughs> sucks to be you. Don't worry, these podcasts will get better. I know this one sucks. I know all the other ones are shit as well. But with time comes excellence. In a way. Oh, where, oh, where has my grandmother went? Oh, where, oh, where can she be? I found her in a dumpster last night. Oh, where, oh, where did she pee? Grandma, did you pee on the floor? I said, Grandma, can you give me some more? I said, Grandma, did you pee on the floor? Pee on the floor, Grandma, Grandma, did you forget to flush the kitchen sink again? Cause Grandma's got the Alzheimer's and she's pissing on the floor. Pissing on the door. Bringing me some granola bars to munch. (laughs) Fuck you, Grandma. Fuck you, whore. I want my sports car back. Well, I haven't thought of anything else to talk about. Thinking about getting back into yoga. I want to be a yogi. No, I just, I, yeah, I've tried it before. I've tried yoga. And once you try it, and when you uh, successfully do it, and you get that feeling at the end, it's like you're, it's like a high. When you finish the yoga session, and you just sit and relax and drink some tea, it's like, wow, Baba Ganoush. I feel like a million doll hairs. You're just calm. Someone could scream in your face. And you would just sit there and smile. <sighs> How are you? I just did some yoga. You can't yell at me. That's what it's like. Except not as creepy. So I had some ideas to do when guests come on. I have this IQ test over here. It's a book filled with IQ test questions, okay? I was going to have people come in and do a few of them. But I... What was that? Did you hear that? But I did a few. And... I realize, fuck, these are bullshit. Because there's so many answers you could actually have. And they're like, no, you picked the wrong. This is the answer. It's, I don't know, it seems like a crock of horse shit. But I might still give it a shot. Just because I know everyone will get it wrong. And then I'll be like, hi, y'all are stupid. Oh my god, that's what the noise is. There's a huge mountain lion outside my window. Not a big deal. It's just a pussy cat. Uh, I also had an idea. 
but I'm not going to say what it is because it's probably stupid. I got to think about it some more and then I got to try it out some more. I haven't had a guest on the show since episode t- whatever episode that was, episode two, four, I don't know. Pussy, 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 I see you. I kind of liked that other room that I had the podcast in. It was, uh, I don't know, it felt different. It felt more, I don't know. There was something about it. Maybe it was just because it was the first couple. Man, that, that, that friggin' mountain lion is... There's literally a mountain lion outside my window. They come here all the time. There's one right there. And it's just sitting on my porch. Trying to catch some um, birds. It's a a friggin' ferocious mountain lion. And I would turn my camera around to show you. But, uh... You know, there's a bunch of cords hanging off of it and plugged into it. And eh, it's a big hassle. Y'all, if y'all want to see a mountain lion, just look it up on YouTube. Whoa! Holy crap, it's attacking. This is crazy. I'm getting a a good visual. It's like a nice sunset background, mountain lion. There's birds attacking the mountain lion, it looks like. But the mountain lion... Mountain lion just wants to eat them. The mountain lion's thinking, great, these birds are coming to me. I don't even have to go to them. Whoa. But they're just attacking him. Because he's so close to their nest. I have a a few birdhouses in my backyard. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that there's nests in them. You can't see them. They're made out of wood. And they're high up. But there's just always birds flying in and out of them. And there's always one, like, protecting it. Guarding the outside of it. And we got this mountain lion who just loves to hang out here. Well, I think (laughs) that's that's the end of this podcast, I guess. If you like being bored and listening to a guy mumble about nothing, then come to the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. Just kidding. It's going to get better. Trust me. Trust me. If you stayed this long to this part of the video, you are a troops poop scooper, okay? Because this is uh, this is what you call garbage content, okay? But uh, don't worry. It'll get better. I know I say that every episode, but trust me. Motherfuckers don't fuck.